everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm just getting over a pretty nasty cold. I'm on the very tail end of it. Today was the first day that I felt like I could leave the house. Um, and today is my two year and three month anniversary since I gave up sugar and flour and since the last time I binge ate. Uh, so that's a long time. Um, 819 days. And in that time, I have lost uh, 162 pounds. I weighed the other day at my grandma's, and I was down to 243.8, which is down from the previous one was 248, I think. So a little bit over four pound loss, finally. Uh, it's been going really slow this year. Uh, but welcome to see. Uh, I think part of it was that I gave up soda, Coke Zero, completely. Um, I should have done it a long time ago, and I know that, but I tried to keep it around, and, uh, you know, I, I would drink more and more, zero calories, so I figure, you know, hey, if you're going to go off plan, why not, you know, this, and it would lead to me actually going and getting more food, uh, eating extra snacks and stuff. Every time I went to get the soda, I would, uh, you know, get something else, and I even started getting these Russell Stover sugar-free peanut butter cups. Which just way no no no, uh, but I was like sugar free, and uh, they were good, too good, and I started getting them kind of often, and I realized that I was slipping, big time. Um, you know, I was going the wrong way, and that's that's a lot of the reason why I haven't had much progress, because uh, I was just eating too many extra calories, you know. Um, but. I finally decided, hey, I'm going to get rid of the soda completely. It's been about three weeks now. Uh, I picked up a new habit, but this one's not as bad. Coffee. Uh, I never liked coffee. Never developed a taste for it or anything. Uh, didn't like the smell of it, any of that. But um, I decided, you know, I need something, especially in the morning, because that's my Coke Zeros in the morning were, you know, helped me get going. So uh, my sister had an old coffee maker that she gave me, and I got some Folgers and uh, tried it out. I started actually with instant coffee. Uh, I was drinking that for a little while and then I got some Folgers with the machine and then I got some Dunkin' Donut coffee and um, some Starbucks and you know uh, almost black you know a couple of stevia and, and a splash of, of milk uh, is, is how I how I take it um, but now I love it and I'm totally into it. I have two cups in the morning every day and it really helped, you know, transition uh, away from the Coke Zero. And when the Coke Zero went, all the extra stuff went. And that's, you know, I've been doing that for like three weeks. And I think that's why I saw a drop in the scale. Um, but, uh, you know, the last two years and three months, I, looking back, uh, I sometimes I go back and watch some of my videos from the earlier days when I first came back. And, you know, just to remember things like when I couldn't fit. You know, I remember one night, and I made a video about this where I... I went to Walmart and, uh, well, no, I went to the movies first by myself, uh, which I was nervous about doing, and I couldn't fit in the seat, and I got this little button for a recliner uh, on the inside, and I was just hitting the button, and, you know, I was, I never knew, like, I had to sit perfectly still, and I never knew when, you know, my side was randomly going to make me go back all the way, or, you know, and I couldn't stop it, and it was just so humiliating. And disheartening, I remember. And then I, I went to Walmart after that to grocery shop, and only the self checkouts were were open. And I got a bunch of stuff, and you know, I remember just you know checking it out. And I had been walking a lot, my back hurt, and I was just pouring sweat. And I remember the person standing there just looking at me like, "Are you gonna be okay, man?" Because I mean, I was just profusely sweating because I was kind of nervous too, and you know, I just I didn't want to be doing it. I, uh, you know. I just want to get out of there, and I remember just feeling so defeated that day. Uh, these simple things that I wanted to do that I just really couldn't, and it all started back with you know I couldn't you know take my niece into school or pick her up, and you know there's just been so many things since then that you know I had lost, and now now I've gotten back, and yeah, I go to the movie now, and it's a roomy fit. Um, I don't have to worry about the button. I can walk all through Walmart and. I don't sweat, and it doesn't matter if I stand up for a long time. Uh, today, I actually found an old bike in my sister's garage uh, and aired up the tires and rode it across town to my grandma's. And I hadn't ridden, I hadn't ridden a bike, and uh, I can't even. 
I can't even imagine how long it's been. It's been a really long time. At least a decade, probably longer than that. Uh, so, that was really cool. Uh, that was something cool to do. That And then I uh, went over to my mom's and my niece, who's about to turn seven, wanted to race me. So we raced to the fence and back and I smoked her. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, you usually wouldn't brag about beating a seven-year-old, but... Uh, you know, in the past, I, I, I wouldn't even take her in public because if she ran away from me, I would, there was nothing I could do. And that's when she was littler uh, because I couldn't move very much. So to be able to smoke her was kind of significant. <laughs> but uh, I let her win the last time, the last one, though. Uh, but, you know, these things are are just massively different and I'm still able to completely appreciate them. Uh, because it doesn't seem like that long. I still have my cane in the back of my truck. You know, every time I go to get in, I kind of, you know, glance back there. And there's that cane that I used to have to use to walk. And uh, it's just a cool reminder, you know, how far I've come. And I've come I've come far. Uh, but I still have a ways to go. Um, I'm doing a lot of things that, you know, I, I never would think that I would do. Um, you know, I go into plays because, you know, I really love live theater and I've been going to plays on my own, um, sometimes with other people, uh, you know, just kind of facing fears like that, going and doing things by myself, if I don't have anyone to go with me, um, I'm in therapy, and I've been in therapy for a few months now, and uh, it's really good, um, I've, I've needed it for a long time, I've never done it before, I've never been in therapy, and the therapist I found was is just the best. Um, she's amazing, and I couldn't ask for better. Uh, she's way better than I ever thought I would have gotten. She uh, specializes in cognitive behavioral therapy, which is kind of the gold standard as far as, you know, evidence-based getting results, and that's what we've been working on. Um, and I've been making a lot of progress, you know, with my anxiety, depression, uh, just, you know, things in my life. And, you know, these are things that I never thought I would say. You know, you know, I'm making progress in therapy. That just, uh, you know, from where I was a couple years ago, that's just, it's a different world. And this is a different world for me now. It's just different. Everything's different. And it's just getting better. And it keeps getting better. And, you know, I'm just really appreciative for all that, you know, those tough times I went through. And not to say that, you know, things are easy now or anything. There's still tough times, of course. But I'm getting better at dealing with them you know, facing it as it comes and not letting it wreck me and, you know, sideline me and just to keep going. But, uh, yeah, I haven't made one of these in a while. Um, so, you know, uh, down to 243, got 43 pounds left to go before I met that goal that I set so long ago, which is 200 pounds. I'm only 5'7", so 200 pounds isn't what my goal should be. But with extra skin and stuff, I figure I probably got 20 pounds of that. That'd put me like 180. Um, you know, we'll see from there, but, uh, I have touched base with some dermatologists and even a plastic surgeon about getting some of the skin removed, uh, might be able to be covered on my insurance even. So that will be really cool. It's kind of scary though, cause it's a really major surgery and, you know, serious recovery time and, you know, massive scars, but, uh, to be able to, you know, feel comfortable in my own skin for the first time in my life. It seems like it'd be really worth it. And plus, you know, with exercising and stuff and rashes and things, you, you, you really want to get that gone anyway. I have a bad back and, you know, that in itself can can kind of cause back pain too. So uh, I'm optimistic. I'm hopeful. Um, I'm thankful. And I am going to keep on going forward. I'm, I'm you know... I feel so so lucky to even be where I'm at right now and to have this opportunity to to really go after it and that's what I'm gonna do um, so uh, thanks guys for sticking with me and uh, I will see you all soon I hope everyone out there is doing well keep chasing those dreams one step at a time and you'll get there knuckle love